The second foundation of the three foundations, back up. First one is backing up, good girl. The second one is leading. When you lead your horse, I know I was traditionally taught to lead my horse under the chin next to my shoulder. I find that to be a very dangerous move with my horse, especially when I'm walking down the road. I like to go for walks with my horses. And cars are going by, the school bus goes by. Well, the next thing you know, your horse is spooked, just spooks right into you, knocks you down. So when I lead a horse, I want that horse a half horse length behind me. And now that I've taught my horse to back up with the jiggle of the lead rope, next is leading. So I'm gonna lead that horse, and I'm gonna make sure she keeps a half horse length minimum behind me. Jiggle a little bit, good girl. So I'm gonna take a walk around the arena and get my hand on her face. Need to get back, good girl, but I keep walking. I see folks when they try this, they stop and they back the horse up. No, keep walking, keep your momentum. Teach the horse that while you're walking, they need to stay behind. If you stop and correct your horse each time, your horse isn't gonna learn anything. They're just gonna be waiting for you to stop and correct them. You wanna keep your feet moving and teach them this while you're moving. That's the key, keep moving. Good girl, good girl. And that vibrational verbiage of good girl, good feeling, that emotional connection, get back, get back, get back. Good girl, good girl. And this could take her a little bit because she's probably been led under the chin. She thinks, oh, I'm supposed to be next to my human. Nope, that's not a safe position for me. I'm no match for her, and I'd say she's a little over 1,200 pounds, so I'm no match for that. Good job, and when I stop, she stops. She did it. Now, if she hadn't, I would have thrown up my hands and go, ho, oh, but she did it. I'm so proud of her. I'm gonna go up and love her for that. Good girl, and now I'm gonna, oh, she's licking and chewing. I was gonna stick my fingers in her mouth and kind of get that going a little bit, feather her tongue, but she did it on her own. Very good, she's really starting to connect. Very good girl. And let's walk in the other direction. So I'm going to turn around. We're going to go this way. I'm going to switch hands. Good girl. Get back. Good job. Good job. You just kind of watch over, the, over your shoulder and peripheral vision. Good girl. Good job. Wiggle a little bit. Good girl. When I stop, she stops. Now I can turn around. Back her up. Back up. Back up. I want a little more. Good girl. Notice I release my pressure instantly with my body. I look down, I bend, I instantly release. That's very important to release your pressure as soon as you get what you want. Good job.